friends, today I'm here with another tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how to install Windows Embedded POS Ready in VirtualBox. And you can also use this tutorial to install it on VMware Workstation Pro or Unreal Hardware if you have the ISO burned on CD. And yeah, this is going to be our last tutorial recorded and uploaded in 2022. So Happy New Year and stick around if you wanna learn something new this purpose you will require obviously VirtualBox, Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009 ISO which you can download it over here and if you want to download VirtualBox just search for it there is it download and just find your host download it and install it the installation is pretty straightforward and here once we are in VirtualBox, now click on, you can see this up bar here, and here you can see click on new. And now put in your name of the virtual machine, it's going to be Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. The type is going to be Windows, and the version is going to be Windows XP 32 bit because this is based on Windows XP. You can just like the ISO image now or or just choose it later. I'm going to choose it later. Once you choose all of these, click on next. I want to just choose the RAM for this thing. I'll just give it like 512 megabytes of RAM. It'll do the job just fine, even though the minimum system requirements are pretty much the same as Windows XP. Now click on next. Now just create the hard drive. 10 gigabytes is going to be okay for this. And now click on next and click on finish. Once your virtual machine has been created, now go to settings. You can go to system and here to add some more virtual CPUs. I'll leave it at one. Or just give it two. If you want, I'll just give it one. Go to display. We can increase the video memory to the max. That's what I'm going to do right now. And now the most important part is go to storage you can see here the drive now we can just choose sol market solid state drive and find the disk and just select live CD DVD and now just choose your disk file once you chose that we are done with the settings and now click on OK and now click on start Alright, so now this thing is going to boot from our drive, and here we go, starting installation environment. The boot screen is the same as Windows XP, since this is based on Windows XP Service Pack 3, but it's been actually slightly modified. are not interested in launching a command prompt and here the setup is initializing and here we are at the setup and now we are now on the click on next and here we just have like interactive setup and unattended setup I'm going to just interactive setup because choosing unattended setup just um, uh, defeats the whole point of this video. Click on interactive setup and click on next. I want to put in our product key. Don't worry about the product key. There, are, there, is, there are product keys in in that in the archives, uh, even the comments. Don't you worry about that. Now wanna agree to the license terms. Now just put in your name. Click on next. And now we have two options in here. If you don't have any 
additional storage drivers you, you can just choose that option or if you want to install the third party software drivers it's going <laughs> you can just install them manually I'm just going to choose the first option but that depends on your case now once you choose that click on next And now here is our 10 gigabyte hard drive and we have the unpartitioned space and now we want to create partition. I'm going to use the maximum available size for the partition and once you choose the size click on OK. And now choose the partition and just click on next. I want to choose the, the option how you want to format the drive, the allocation unit size and the volume label. I'm just going to type for example Windows XP <laughs> alternate because yes this was an alternative at the time and if we and just click select perform a quick format because we don't want the format to take like no lot of time and uh, once you choose all your options click on next we can just leave it like this click on next now we have the time zone all these things we change my time zone to my time zone choose languages and country time zone click on next and now we have three options in here we have the minimum installation which just takes up half a gigabyte we have the typical installation that takes up a gigabyte and a half of the storage we have custom we um, I want to choose the typical installation. Choose the installation and just click on next. Put in your computer name. We need to type in POS. POS. Ready VM. And put in an administrator password. It just won't allow you to continue to set up. Click on next. And I want to join a work group or a dom domain. I'm just going to join a work group and just rename mine. This is just intended to be a joke. Click on next. And once we are ready in here, and now we are finally ready to install this thing. And yeah, and now just click on install. And now this is going to format the partition to copy the image to take the hardware and just do its thing. Everything else is automated for now. And yeah. Now we're just sit back and relax while this thing installs on our VM. It does not affect our main computer. We don't have to worry about all of that. And now just sit back and relax while this is installing. It could take a decent amount of time especially if you're installing it on a real hardware but since this is a virtual machine it shouldn't take a very a very long time it should be done in about five to ten minutes probably and now just sit back and relax while this thing is installing all right so we are here in the next phase of the setup the system has rebooted and this thing will just complete the installation and it'll just do its thing and after a reboot the system is going to be ready to use all right so once you see this screen congrats we are we have installed windows embedded pos ready 2009 and now we have a new team here And yeah, congrats if you're on the desktop once again. And here we have like a oh, very Windows XP like oh, operating system, but it is not Windows XP. Let's just run Winver here. And there we go. We have it's the NT version is 5.1, the same build, it's service pack free. Yeah, and Microsoft killed off support for this in 29 in April of 2019, which is yeah, 
almost four years ago yeah it's been that very long and this was the alternative if you, if you still wanted to use Windows XP but but and you don't want it to um, upgrade to a newer version let's apply this theme everything else here is the same as Windows XP and yeah mm. yeah we have the latest version of Internet Explorer let's take a look at the hard drive statics and yeah it took one and a half gigabytes that is yeah and yeah, this is our last tutorial for 2022, and yeah, can you believe it? 2023 is coming, and this is all, yeah. And yeah, that was all for today's video. If this helped you, make sure you have liked this video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications, and Happy New Year, everybody, if it's 2022, when you're watching this. And yes, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!